Gaming is great, but gaming on a budget? Amazing. Let's talk about it. The Xbox Series S comes in at $300 retail, and even during holiday time, it was $250 with the controller included. But make no mistake about it, just because it is cheap does not mean it is trash. This thing can perform with the best of them. Speaking of performance, this console has some pretty amazing specs. It is 1440p, HDR, and 120 frames per second, which the 120 frames per second is the max for any console on the market right now. To test, I did a side-by-side -side gameplay on the Series S and the PS5, 1440p, 120 frames per second on the exact same monitor. Where this console skimps out is the storage. It comes loaded with 512 gigabytes, whereas the industry standard is about a terabyte. So you may need to look into getting some external storage and I'll link some down below of the recommendations that I have. However, depending on the style of gamer that you are, you can easily play a couple of games at once, beat those, and then delete them to maximize on your storage. Speaking of games, this is an all digital console, but where this thing excels is the Xbox Game Pass, the absolute greatest deal in gaming. Xbox Game Pass is Microsoft's subscription service that you can get for $10 a month that gives you access to hundreds and hundreds of different game titles. Let's go through a few of my favorite sections within the Game Pass. The coming soon section is a nice one because they have games like MLB The Show 23, Minecraft Legends, and Redfall, all of which come out later on this year. However, I can pre-install them now and then go and play them on day one whenever they drop. This is also a good time to point out, I have yet to spend any additional money on my Xbox. I have yet to buy a single game on this Xbox. I only use the Game Pass because there's so many games on here that I have no reason to really go out and pay for anything. Not to mention, you know, the, the lack of exclusives that Microsoft really should improve on this upcoming year. And just to kind of show you guys how deep the catalog is, I'm just going to scroll through for a few seconds so you can see how many different games are included with this Xbox Game Pass service. In addition to Game Pass, this console matches the Series X in every single way, with the exception of running at 4K. But other than that, you won't see any problems running any next gen games on the Xbox Series S. Not to mention this Xbox is super fast with virtually no loading times. Don't believe me? I'll show you. But first, a word from my sponsor. This video has been sponsored by The Oxygen in the Room because I did it myself. However, if any brands are seeing this, by the way, if you enjoy gaming and tech content, check out this playlist. Another thing I wanted you guys to see for yourselves was, was how fast this was with the quick resume feature. So I'm playing Hi Fi Rush. I'm going to switch over to Need for Speed Unbound, right? So that's loading up only a couple of seconds. Boom, I'm already, I'm already in the game. Now we're loading up Need for Speed Unbound. Let's get in and drive around just for a second. <laughs> driving, 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 having a good old time, you know, whatever, whatever. Ooh, can't catch me, copper. <laughs> Doing a dash. All right, so boom, I'm done with that. Switch back over to Hi-Fi Rush, and then Hi-Fi Rush is gonna pick up right where I left off, as if nothing ever happened. If you made it this far in the video, I love and appreciate you. Stay tuned for the Xbox Series S accessories guide on what I think would help you get the most out of your console. Other than that, smash that like button, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this console down below. Is it worth the money to you?